is another map drawing video. I did a, um, a little while ago, I did a map of Australia. Right, and I started off with a blank piece of paper and drew a map of Australia and talked about some interesting things about um, Australia. And because that video was uh, quite successful, I thought that I'd have another go at um, another map video and this time I'm going to do the United Kingdom. But before I start, I've got some uh, PK chewing gum. So uh, I'll um, see if I can get a couple of pellets of PK out of the pack. And there's the first pellet.
Uh, so what I'll do is um, I'll just give this a light colour in with uh, green. So that represents land. That's Northern Ireland. And we've got some green up here in Scotland. Yep. Um, some more green down here for Wales. How green was my valley? It was a book I think that I read a while ago about uh, Welsh coal mines, I think it was. And I'll do some more green down the bottom for uh, the rest of England. a 
population of around 54 million. Scotland has a population of 5.2 million. Wales has a population of uh, 3 million. And Northern Ireland has a population of around about uh, 1.8 million. And if you add all those up, I think that gives you around about 64 million people. Which is, it, that was, um, those population stats might have been from a couple of years ago. So it may have increased uh, since then. Now before I, I created this uh, video, I was doing a little bit of research and I was trying to work out when the different um, countries were established. I'm not 100% sure if I've got them correct or not, but I came up with 1921 or 1922 for Northern Ireland. I came up with uh, the year 1707 for Scotland. And for Wales, I came up with the year 1535. So hopefully they're correct. If they're not, I'm sure somebody will leave me a comment down in the comment section for uh, for those uh, for that population. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll just go right uh, United Kingdom. the 
new settlers and maintain that the British law and order was maintained. And uh, my ancestors actually, um, some of them came from over here, from uh, around Norwich. They uh, joined the army and came out for, signed on for 12 years. And came out to Australia and never returned. And some of them also they came from uh, Manchester. Manchester, they came out of the army. I had some uh, free settlers come out from Edinburgh. Came out from, uh, more free settlers came out from Belfast to start a new life in Australia. And the last place they came from was uh, uh, Leeds, which I think is roughly there. So, uh, yeah, so it's probably 50 50 for my ancestors came out of the army, the British army, to, uh, and some came out as resettlers as well. What I found interesting was that. Um, so I did my research. One of the obviously English is the most spoken language in uh, United Kingdom, but Polish at 500,000 people was the second um, highest language, and followed by Punjabi, Bengali, Urdu, Cantonese, Greek, and Southwestern. interesting to tell you about England, England uh, or United Kingdom. All the cars drive on the left-hand side of the road with the right-hand drive cars. Um, just like Australia, we drive on the left-hand side of the road with right-hand drive cars, as opposed to Europe and America, where they drive on the right-hand side of the road with left-hand drive cars. So uh, there we go. the uh, climate, just to finish off then, the climate of the United Kingdom is fairly, uh, you know, it's sort of cool, it's a cool climate, a cold climate, especially up in places like Scotland, it would get pretty cold there in winter, and for the rest of Northern Ireland and England. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, England, uh, you know, it's been a great influence on the world with their, what's been, a, sorry, England's been a big influence on the world with their colonies. And that's it. Okay. So I think that's probably all I have to talk about today about the United Kingdom. Hopefully I've done it justice. I've given you a bit of a key overview of the United Kingdom, Northern Ireland, Scotland, England and Wales. Um, and then Great Britain is Scotland, just Scotland, Wales and England. And... Obviously, England is just England. So the four countries make up the United Kingdom. And that's uh, that's that's the uh, that's.
this is a summary. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video.